Greetings, I'm Pastor Terry Brandt. I serve as Vice President for Advancement at Concordia College. Welcome to worship and Merry Christmas. We thank you for taking part in this virtual worship service. I wanna say thank you to those that have made this worship service possible. Our ministry team here at Concordia College, Pastor Dave and Kim Adams, and Deacon John Lisa. Also wanna thank the students, the faculty, the staff, and the alumni that have taken part in this service. In addition to the readings and the preaching and the singing, you will also see a recording from previous Christmas concerts. My prayer is that you are indeed blessed by this time together. Finally, I wanna say the most important thank you, and that is a thank you to you. A thank you for the ways that you serve the church, the way that you serve this one that we celebrate, being born in a stable in Bethlehem. Indeed, may you have a Merry Christmas and God bless you. Hello and Merry Christmas. We at Concordia College are so grateful and blessed to be able to offer this service to you during this time of COVID-19. We are all exhausted, <laughs> yet we know that the promise of Christmas unites us. And so we are grateful that you have chosen to join us to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Let us begin. Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy. To, to us is born this day in the city of David, David a Savior, the, the Messiah, the Lord. Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in cloth, 
and lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace. Let us go now to Bethlehem. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the 40th chapter. Comfort, O comfort, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem's heart, and tell it that its time of service is ended, that its iniquity is atoned for, and it has received from the Lord's hand double punishment for all its sins. A voice cries out in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who is in the beginning, who makes a dwelling among us, who covers us with justice and mercy. Amen. Let us confess our sin in the presence of God and of one another. God of goodness and loving kindness, we confess that we have sinned against you and our neighbors. We have turned away from your invitation to new life. We have turned away from the lowly and downtrodden. In your abundant mercy, forgive us our sins, those we know and those known only to you. 
for the sake of the one who came to live among us, Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Hear the good news of peace and salvation. God forgives us all our sins, not through our own work, but through Jesus Christ. Made known to all people, with all who come to the manger, rejoice in this amazing gift of grace. Amen. A Blessing Called Sanctuary by Jan Richardson. You hardly knew how hungry you were to be gathered in, to receive the welcome that invited you to enter entirely. Nothing of you found foreign or strange, nothing of your life that you were asked to leave behind or to carry in silence or in shame. Tentative steps became settling in, leaning into the blessing that enfolded you, taking your place in the circle that stunned you with its unimagined grace. You began to breathe again, to move without fear, to speak with abandon the words you carried in your bones that echoed in your being. You learned to sing. But the deal with this blessing is that it will not leave you alone, will not let you linger in safety, in stasis. The time will come when this blessing will ask you to leave, not because it has tired of you, but because it desires for you to become the sanctuary that you have found to speak your word into the world, to tell what you have heard with your own ears, seen with your own eyes, known with your own heart, that you are beloved. Precious child of God, beautiful to behold, and you are welcome, and more than welcome here.
Lord be with you. Let us pray. Living God, in the promise of your light, we gather to stand with shepherds, amazed at your glory, to sing with angels rejoicing in your work, to wait with Joseph, trusting in your promise, to sit with Mary, cradling your love. Teach us to know you so well that our lives may befriend this world you have made. In the name of Jesus Christ, word made flesh, light of the world. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke, the second chapter. In those days, a decree went out from the Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth to Galilee, to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was a descendant from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for him in the inn.
Luke's Gospel continues. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Messiah the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom God favors.
Luke's Gospel continues. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds went away, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as they had been told. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Arise, shine, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. The, the people, people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those, those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, darkness on them has light shone. For a child is born to us, an heir is given us, upon whose shoulders dominion will rest. 
This one shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Strength of God, Eternal Protector, Champion of Peace. Let us pray. Loving God, by the, by the gift, gift of your spirit, spirit teach, teach us to treasure your words and ponder them in our hearts. Through Jesus Christ, your word made flesh. Amen. Come, O Lord, this day with light. And in the morning with your glory to, to guide our feet into, into the, the way, way of peace.
trusting in the promise that has been revealed to us in the flesh of a baby, let us together profess our faith. We believe in God, the creator of all things seen and unseen. We believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord, who was promised by prophets, conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, announced by angels, and worshipped by shepherds. He suffered, died, and was buried, only to rise again in the fullness of God, and he will come to restore all creation. We believe in the Holy Spirit, whose presence breathes life into our world and who ignites our faith, so that we, too, might kneel before the manger and worship the one who has come to make all things new. Amen. Let us pray for the world in which the Prince of Peace took flesh and form. We give you thanks, Holy One, for the light that has come into the darkness of our world, for the truth illuminated, for the pathway that has opened for the rejoicing of your people. We give you thanks for the feet of those who bring good news, friendship, comfort, food, shelter, and medicine for healing. We give you thanks for the Church of Christ Jesus and for all people of faith whose attention to the way of peace tears down walls that keep us apart. We pray for the world and for the leaders of the nations. Guide them with justice and help them to work for the well-being of all people so that no one is hungry or homeless and every child is valued and nourished. We pray for knowledge and courage to be stewards of all that you have given us, ourselves, our neighbors, the strangers among us, the oceans and rivers, the air and soil, creatures large and small, that we may continue to be blessed with health and life. We pray for those whose flesh is harmed by poverty, sickness, and cruelty of any kind, that the world made flesh may so fill your world with power to heal that all people would be made strong and whole. We commend all, all of these things to you and offer our thanksgiving, trusting that what we have left unsaid, your holy wisdom can unearth. In the name of the one who came among us, in the power of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. John, the first chapter. In the beginning, there was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. The Word was present to God from the beginning. Through the Word, all things came into being, and apart from the Word, nothing came into being that has come into being. In the Word was life, and that life was humanity's light, a light that shines in the darkness, a light that the darkness has never overtaken. And the Word became flesh and stayed for a little while among us. We saw the Word's glory, a favor and position a parent gives an only child, filled with grace, filled with truth. Word of God, Word of life, thanks be to God.
And now, dear siblings in faith, receive the benediction. May you be filled with the wonder of Mary. The obedience of Joseph. The joy of the angels. The eagerness of the shepherds. The determination of the Magi. And the peace of the Christ child. Almighty God, creator, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Know this world as a place blessed by Christ's birth. In your words and in your work, let the light of love shine. Give thanks each day and rejoice. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God.